when civilization sunk beneath the seven seas, deep forests spread across the five remaining lands. Only the chosen ones escaped the waters in their castle stronghold. Eventually the waves overtook him the last five islands, and the castle was all that remained. After the passing of ages, the people of the floating castle chose to descend upon their mother soil. These are the chronicles of the land of Hylagard. Hey guys, this is Ram Spice, and I am bringing you the first episode of Let's Play Atrian Odyssey 2 Heroes of Lagarde. This is a game that I really enjoy. Um, it's a, sort of an RPG dungeon kind of crawler kind of game, sort of go through the 30 floors of the labyrinth and sort of map out the floors, but I'll sort of get more into that later. Got to go through the intro first. Uh, in the northern continent, there lies a grand douchey. Douchey? Uh, I really don't know how to pronounce that, and douchey just sounds kind of weird, but I'm going to call it that anyway. There lies a grand douchey known as High Lagarde. Legends say that the central city of Lagarde is home to Yggdrasil, gateway to the floating castle. The residents of that metropolis have discovered a labyrinthine dungeon within the legendary tree. Hylagard's duke is currently researching the labyrinth to find the truth behind the floating castle. The castle and the labyrinth drew adventurers to Hylagard from far and wide, but none among them were able to master the labyrinth and find the truth of the ancient legends. You are among the legions of explorers eager to penetrate the labyrinth's mysteries. Your quest is to find the floating castle and to make your fortune. The city of Lagarde awaits. So. First off, we're just going to be, um, no, I'll just read this. I won't read all the text, not really speech, just sort of important ones. All around you, as you step into the city of Lagarde, city of Lagarde is the bustle and chatter of the square. It seems that the city is full to bursting with explorers. Since you yourself came to make a name as an explorer, you should register at the Explorers Guild. But first indulge in a... <laughs> Jeez. But first, indulge a bit of curiosity regarding your history. Have you perchance led another guild in some other town? If so, surely you have a password. From Actually, this isn't important. This is if you played the first game. When you beat it, you were given a password. Obviously, I do not have that. Um, so, you go around in your guild of five members. Lots of different, you know, different classes in this game. You pick your five members. My five members are going to be, you know, the, basically the people in the channel, you know. Self-explanatory. So you know, um, this this is just the registration part very early on. It'll take a, it won't take too long to get into the game. But there's quite a bit of explaining to do at first, and that's probably what most of this episode will be, because there's a lot of places in the town that you can visit, and I'll sort of just explain what that is. I would indeed like to establish a guild. A wise decision indeed. Obviously, it's just going to be. Ah, lag. <laughs> I should have done caps lock for this. Oh well, didn't matter too much. So the guild shall be Wide Over Gaming. Again, fairly self-explanatory. Name of the channel. That's unique. It's nice and foreign, apparently. Anyway, now to get the explorers. I'm oh, sorry. Actually, that's one thing. My sound quality is going to be pretty average because my usual mic, for some reason, isn't working with this computer, which is old as hell. It's just really bad. So this is just sort of like a backup. It's pretty dodgy, but yeah, it shouldn't, it's better than nothing, honestly, because I just really want to get some of this recorded. So anyway, first member is going to be me, obviously, Ram Spice. There's only an eight character limit, so some names had to be changed, so no space here, that's not exactly a big deal. I, well, there's basic classes here, Landschnecht, which are basically just warriors all out attack, pretty much. I mean, they say balance, they do have some defense, but if you want defense, you mainly go for a protector, who are pretty much the opposite. They can still do some damage, but they're definitely there to guard people. In the later levels, they are really, really strong defensively. Survivalists, archers, basically. Um, yeah, again, it's got it down here. Fast acting fighters, useful in either line. Probably the bad, though, are a bit weak. Dark hunter, which is what I'm going to be, so I'll select that. Use their frontline fighter. And they're best using the front, as it says there. And 
they use whips and swords. I'll probably be mainly using whips with this person because most of the skills are better, but you definitely need to put some mastery points into swords as well. But they're a very strong class, very balanced, quite quick. A bit lacking defensively, but not too bad. Next is Holmesy. Wow. Jeez, what is going on with this animal? What the hell? Why is this... What the f... Why is it not responding? See, this is what I have to go through. Jeez. That was a bit of a failure. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, Nick... Uh, Holmesy... <coughs> Jeez. That should really throw me off guard. Holmesy is going to be a protector. He's a defensive specialist, basically. He's just that, uh, as the name implies, protect everybody. Next is going to be Nation, who isn't actually... He's part of the channel, but he hasn't actually put a video out yet. That's partially his fault. He sort of does 2K as well. as So we'll be doing a lot of stuff on 2K13. Not really sure who's going to do what, but definitely expect to see some stuff from him. He is going to be a Ronin, but I'll take you through some of the other classes. Medic is basically healer. Basic healer and buffer. Alchemist, don't use them ever. They're terrible. They do a lot of offensive magic, but they take so much TP, which is, you know, the what is used to cast spells and abilities. It just has cost so much at early levels, or at any level. It's quite ridiculous, and they're just not that good, honestly. You know, it's not just TP. It's a troubadour who can... They learn songs. There's a support character. They learn songs to increase attack, defense, hit points, TP, all sorts of stuff. And they're all right offensively, not great. Medic, on the other hand, has no damage whatsoever. But they're there for healing. And then there's a Ronin, which is what Nation is going to be, who is uh, probably a more sort of, not advanced, but like, extreme version of Lanch Necked. Much more attack, but not quite as much defense. Pretty weak. And they're quick as well, but they're, they're very strong classes. They're really good. Based off the Samurai of Japan, but they are a very good class to use. And then we have H... I'll actually put a space in there. H Bridge, which is Honey Bridge, but his name doesn't fit in... Um... It's a character limit doesn't go too well with Honeybridge, which is like what eleven. So he is going to be H Bridge, and he is going to be well. There's a couple of classes here: Hexer, which sort of really um, like a debuffer, like putting lots of status effects and curses on the enemy can do some damage as well. And then, which is what. Honeybridge will be, but then there's also Gunner, who, you know, use, they're kind of like survivalists, but they're a lot slower and very strong. Use quite a bit of TP, but not too much, and they use guns. And I was going to do this in another take of this. What happened is that the videos didn't save the files, but I had a Gunner instead of a Medic in my class, and we had no healing, and we got absolutely destroyed on the first floor, and it really did not go well. Everyone was dead except for Honeybridge, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm not going to use them, just because it just doesn't work with the class. The classes I want to use. Anyway, and then you have War Magus, which sort of... They can use... They can be healers, they have offensive spells, and they can do some damage, melee damage. So, they're really balanced class, but they're sort of too balanced. They don't really specialize in anything because of that. They're just not that good. So, Honeybridge is going to be a hexer. Oh, sorry, the button didn't go through. Maybe this guy. Hex's portraits are pretty nice, actually. And finally, we have Sandstone, which again doesn't fit. So here's his. Uh, well, don't ask me why, but he's been request. He's requested for me to call him Marcus. So, uh, yeah, that's that. <laughs> don't ask. Ask him, not me. Sorry, he's going to be a medic. Here's our healer. Yeah, I swear there's like th three guys here. Like, they're these, this one and this one are the female portraits, but honestly, I can't see how this is. It looks more like a chick as well. So he'll be this guy with the glasses, which he does not have in real life. So that is my party. That took longer than I anticipated, but it took me too long to explain all the classes. So you're going to do the formation front row. 
as for the stronger melee fighters. For God's sakes! This keyboard so sticky. So you put the people you put in the front row are ones who can take a hit better than the others, which none of these people really are except for Holmesy. But that's all right. And then we'll put Honeybridge and Marcus. <laughs> I'm not really sure why they have six spots. I guess that's so you can put three in the back, but honestly, if you only have five. Anyway, so that's that. Basically, your forms seem to be in order. Congratulations, you're part of the guild. Flouse in, which is where we will go. Okay, so there's lots of places. There's the Flouse Inn, which, you know, there's the little rest and save here. There's little brief descriptions of Flouse Inn, which is where you save and rest, heal up. Lagarde Hospital, where you, if someone is killed or some serious status effects, you can heal them there. Sithoth Trading, which is just your store, buy and sell equipment. Very important. Equipment's really what makes you stronger in this game. It's a very like in-depth skill tree and stuff, but that, that's more for abilities offensively and defensively. <laughs> Sorry, it doesn't really help your actual overall stats go up that much. So that's why you get equipment here. Stick about buy, but self-explanatory, as the thing description at the top here says, you manage your quests here. You, any non like side quests, that's where you get them. Explorers Guild, we've already covered that. It's where you register new members. And the Duke's Palace is like sort of the main mission area, like it's where you get the main quest. So we're going to go to the Flouse Inn quickly. Which, oh, well, actually, I don't need to do anything here, but I'll show you. Um, actually, I might just save quickly. So you can sleep and nap. So you can sleep until the morning or nap, sleep into the evening. So at the moment, I believe it's 10 a.m., so if I was to heal, I would sleep. I would nap instead of sleep, just to save time. Then you can also store goods, important items here. And then you can also save. Which is mainly why you're going to be coming here. Well, actually, no, you're mainly going to be coming here to heal and save. So the first one takes a lot longer than the rest, but you won't be seeing me seeing me save that often. I'm running a bit low on time here. Um, go through it quickly. Lagarde Hospital this takes a bit more explaining. Explaining, jeez, explaining. Oh God, I have to go through this. This guy's pretty cool. You know, looks more like a priest or something. The Pope without the hat. Um, so yeah, actually, no status effects, you just revive people. So that's useful. And then, actually, oh, jeez, how long have I been recording for? Um, I do know, I'm going to end this first episode here, just for the sake of time. So, uh, thank you for watching. Sorry for a bit of a slow start, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos definitely coming soon. So yeah, I'm out. See ya.